all right guys welcome back today I'm gonna be uh, showing you how I removed the uh, sound driver of the SMD JVC boombox so here's the uh, board itself here there's the area where I'm looking to to show you guys so All right, so this is the spot here where I had removed the uh, the sound driver chip, the Sony sound driver chip on the JVC uh, boombox, and here's the chip itself right here, and the uh, the thermal pad on the bottom has been is still on the PCB down there. So, so here's the thermal pad right here. Um, won't be able to see this closely with this camera, but you can see the pads are gone right here. And just a few lift traces right here, and pads corroded right there. So let's take a look at the whiteboard. All right. So to better explain what I have been talking about is uh, after I had removed the chip from the board itself uh, I've noticed that there is corrosion on these two last pins here and a few of these uh, pads right here were connected to their trace traces still and just hanging there and these two pads as well have been uh, corroded away so this chip has a thermal pad which is uh, the little metal underneath the chip right there and it doesn't have a heat sink so it uses uh, the thermal pad to dissipate heat so there's these you know drill through holes right here which are filled with solder on the underside of the board to uh, dissipate the heat and I'll show you what I mean right here so as the chip is in place and gets dropped down and the little legs that come out like that gets dropped down and the thermal pad is right here rests on this spot here and when the chip is actually set into place it uses a uh, uh, the heat to thermally bond the legs to the pads here and here and the same time under here so the heat gets spread out which would look similar to this on the underside so this is all solder here and the heat gets spread out here dissipating the heat So that's about it here. Just thought I'd show you guys that. So let's go back to the board. And here's the board itself. And this is the area right here where I had removed the, the sound driver chip. And on the very back side here, you can see this, this whole soldering edge right here is all for the dissipating the heat from the sound driver and there's the through holes for the for the thermal pad that was very difficult to f to remove had to set the SMD station to close to 750 degrees Fahrenheit and heat one side heat the other heat the, and go back and forth and then slowly the chip came loose and I was able to take the chip out all right let's try zoom in nice so let's take a nice close look at this and this is nice I got a good shot here so you can see these pads are completely gone right here and uh, these right here these pads here are lifted and 
connected to their traces they're not connected to the pads and the last two pads right here are also corroded and worn away this one has a tad bit of solder but alright so that's gonna do it for this video alright guys thanks for watching and have a good one